Hi, this is Trendencias and I am Carlos Marrero, reporting on the exciting world of fashion, beauty, and entertainment. Hello, 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 everybody. It's Carlos Marrero. We are back. Uh, I took a little hiatus because I was traveling, visiting my brother in North Carolina. And then I came back and I was supposed to have this gorgeous woman. Her name is Alexandria Ali last week. And guess what? My computer decided to have a little temper tantrum and I thought I had lost it. So that's what we were not on last week, but we are in for a fabulous treat. Today is going to be my favorite show. And I have said this before, but this is going to be my favorite show because I don't have one or two. I have three amazing friends that I'm so excited to bring to you because they're all entrepreneurs. They're all people that like me work really hard on their brands. I have, we have, we have so much to talk about. I wrote nothing. It's going to be live and it's just going to be whatever we want to talk about with just a little kiki, a little fashion. And the main thing that I want to, oh, before I continue, because I always forget this one, uh, please make sure that you share our show uh, in all the other uh, social medias. If you want to start a watch party, you can hit the three little dots at the bottom of this video and then start a watch party. So you can uh, share us with all of the people that you know and uh, all your social media. So without further ado, I am so excited to bring back my daughter. And when I say my daughter, we'll explain this in just a little bit. The gorgeous, the beautiful, the very influential queen, Lisa Obi, gorgeous. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you? You look a little bit sickening. Oh, Just some purples you. and pinks and blues and yes. Well, you so, know what? I'm actually promoting a new palette, and that's why I match these colors. Ah, yeah. so it's all it's all branding. It's, it's all a marketing branding. <laughs> <laughs> Are you using me? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lisa, I am so excited because this is your second palette, and we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. But uh, I I have to start with um well before i continue you've known me for a while now oh before we continue i have to keep going back <laughs> but uh, i keep saying that you're my drag daughter and people get all confused for oh, those of so you confused. for those of you who are watching she is a real girl that happens to love <laughs> drag queens like i do and she says that she's my drag queen some people are gonna hate because of that but she's not a drag queen she's a Real girl, and we both both love love drag queens. So be before we continue, I just wanted to I make have sure. A question: Have people been mad about me drag fishing? Are they no, mad that I'm a no. biological woman? Okay, good. I don't want to offend anyone, but I. Well, but we have to say that because I mean, sometimes people get yeah, people get confused. <laughs> yeah. Let's clear the air right. Let's now. Let's clear the air right now. <laughs> we we come from a good heart, and you we're playing around. You're my only drag daughter. Love here. Yeah, yeah, only love here. Uh, but okay, so now let's go back. I have to congratulate you because like every entrepreneur, you have worked so hard on your makeup skills and on your brand and on your team of makeups. And last night you won a big award. Well, before last night, let's talk about Miss Earth. <laughs> Miss, so Miss Earth happening. 2020, you, you've done so much. Miss <laughs> Earth 2020 happened during the pandemic. It's one of the few yes. uh, pageants, like big pageants, uh, that happened during the pandemic and it happened and it was all virtual, but it was so well done. Everybody had to send videos and pictures and all of that. And you and your husband to be the beautiful of friends uh, created a whole package. And I want you, I want you to talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah. And Miss USA won for the first time Miss Earth. And it was part of it because I of you. Again. Yes, it's yes. so amazing. So we call Lindsay our virtual queen because she has only competed virtually the whole way through. I don't think she's ever like stepped foot on a stage. Um, but we were her hair and makeup team. We were her production team. We were basically everything. And we did um, her entire virtual pageant. And we found out that she won. 
um, almost a week ago. And she is the one that completes the circle for the Grand Slam pageants for USA winners. So she's the first winner from the USA. And now USA has won all four Grand Slam pageants. So it's kind of a big deal. And speaking of big deals, last night you won as best hair and makeup your team, not just you, because you have a team that yes. won in Orlando. Uh, and I saw a little video of it accepting your, your accepting speech. And talk to me a little bit about that. Yes. So I actually just like I ran here from Orlando. So my awards actually still in my suitcase. I can't show it off. But we did win best hair and makeup. Um, and I say we because I feel like it belongs to my clients. It belongs to my team, like everyone that put it together, because it's definitely not just me. I could never do this all by myself. Congratulations to you and France. I mean, you Thank guys you. are amazing. I just love you to pieces. And uh, when I when I started Trendencias, uh, the whole uh a platform of Trendencias was to talk to other people that were working in the field and that were, we just wanted to feature them. And that's why I'm so excited that tonight I don't have only you, although I love you to pieces, but I have other people. And uh, one of these other beautiful people is my dearest friend, Alexandria Ali. She is from, uh, she lives, she's in Atlanta. And that's one of the reasons why I love uh, this stream yard because otherwise I could not have her in Trendencias, although I did. And I'm going to show you a little bit about that. So let's welcome to the show, Alexandria Ali. Alex, do I call you Alex or Alexandria? What do you prefer? Both. I go by both. Okay. I kind of <laughs> like Alex. So Alex, yes. you look gorgeous. Lisa, look at this lip stuff. Hey, I love it. <laughs> so I'm loving her lip color, her hair, and everything she has going on too. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> Uh, she's, oh my God, I'm getting so excited already uh, to have you <laughs> guys <know>. together. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> the, yes. the, one, the one thing about entrepreneurship is that uh, people don't understand, and I'm hoping that uh, the people that are watching us get, can understand a little bit of it, but we don't work the nine to five job, but we work the nine to nine job, meaning yes. we work around the clock. We just do not stop. And we just have more energy than any energizer, energizer Bonnie. Yes. And um, Alex, you, uh, let, I just, let's go to you immediately. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you have a gorgeous line of luxurious handbags. They're leather. Yes. And uh, uh, it's called, t talk to me about your line and give me your, give me your tea. Okay. Let me give you my tea. <laughs> So um, F&W Style is a luxury leather handbag line for busy women on the go. And we specialize in beautiful colors. I love to live in color. My lipstick is always colorful. My clothing is colorful. My home is colorful. Um, so that, I just feel like color just, you know, it just makes you happy and it brings out the fun. Even if you're having a bad day, pop that pink bag on and it's hard to have a bad day doing that. Um, so I just wanted to bring some love, some light, some happiness to women's life, but still at an affordable price. Um, from everything we do, from our packaging to the way our, the quality of our bags, it's all to make the woman feel good and feel like she has something special every time she walks out of the house with our handbag. Well, you're talking to a woman that's wearing a purple wig, and then you're talking, <laughs> and then you're talking to a Puerto Rican guy that is wearing black because he's gained a little weight over coronavirus. But I love me some color, and yeah. let me just show this real quick clip about F and W style, shall we? Okay, my sister's already asking. I would like to see the bags. <laughs> she's from Puerto Rico. She's already sending stuff. Oh you, my will God. The bags, you will Janelle. see the bags, Janelle. You will see the bag. Uh, so um, I I know for a fact that you come from. Uh, your mom is also mm -hmm. a designer uh, in Nigeria. She was. Or mm -hmm. talk to me about that. How does that come about? 
Yeah, so I grew up in Nigeria. I was born here, grew up in Nigeria, and my mom had one of the first design houses. So she would take all the like um, African prints, but she would make contemporary styles. So all the jumpsuits, the two-piece suits, the um, the um, beautiful dresses. So she would make contemporary styles, and she was one of the first to start doing that. And I just grew up just watching her and being a part of her business. It's in a funny, uh, my mom used to sew when she was uh, younger, mm -hmm. uh, only because in the old days, you used to make your clothes, you could make your clothes, you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. there, there was there was no like uh, Walmart or there was no like Zara or, or H&M that you could get something affordable. Mm -hmm. Like you just made your own freaking clothes and it yeah. was just amazing. And it, yeah. I love when I hear stories similar to mine when my mom used to sew and I used yeah. to copy the drawings from the patterns and that's how I come about. It was um, so cool. I would make my Barbie clothes like at her studio and all of too. that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I used to make my so American really Girl cool. doll clothes. Yes. <laughs> so another thing that I, uh, I, I'm i very curious about is like, where did you come to, were you born there and moved here? And how was that transition and then how does F and W start? Okay, so yeah, I was born in Houston, Texas, and that's where my oh. parents went to school and got married, and then they moved back to Nigeria. So I was in Nigeria for about 14 years, so I went to middle school there and um, all of that kind of stuff. So it was fun, and it was just... Uh, beautiful environment, the culture, the people, the colors, like all of those kind of things. And all of those kind of helped me with my design as well. Um, when we moved back to the States, I went into modeling and I did that for years. But then when I did become the next Naomi Campbell, <laughs> I went to school, I went to school, um, got my degree and went into banking. I mean, how boring, right? I, oh. that was, yeah, that was my job. And but while I was there, I always still kept fashion, like people will come and be like, what runway are you going on? Because I would wear the pink suits and I would yes, be wearing like sparkly things. <laughs> I remember one of my um, directors would be like, well, can you like tone down the sparkle a little bit? And I'm like, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's actually Wait, before I tone it down. <laughs> exactly. So at that point, I started realizing that this is not where I want to be. I need to find something I love doing. And then once I had my daughter, I was like, I need to... I need to get out of here. And my husband Let's, is like, you always draw, you always sketch, you love fashion, do something in that. And is I your husband uh, uh, a big part of your support system? Oh, oh, definitely. I don't think I could do this without him. I mean, uh, he's definitely a big part of my su support system and I, helping to push me and just, you know, giving me that pump that I need. He hypes me up. <laughs> I do. I do have. To, I wanted to ask that because I know that Lisa has a beautiful man with her as well, and this is when I get a little jealous because I do not have that partner. <laughs> uh, but I do have. A, uh, my headphones came out, but I do have <laughs> some support with my friends. But mm -hmm. I, I'm sure it's it's quite different when you when you want to cry on someone because people don't see the sweat and tears oh, yeah. that we sometimes have to go through. And that's what the show is all about. Support <laughs> your local businesses. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, one of the things that we all have in common, and I'm gonna bring Zach in just a little bit, uh, but one of the other things that we have in common is that we were all in Tendencias before, when Ooh. we were when we had a production with Flavio and lights and makeup and all of that. And I just want to show a little bit about your visit to Tendencias, Alex, okay? Okay. <laughs> we are celebrating you today because you crossed the milestone, right? Yes, I did. I did. We're here at Macy's. We are at Macy's where you are talk to us about your line. And what are we doing here? Okay, so my line is F&W style. So I do luxury leather ha handbags at an affordable price. And so we're here at Macy's launching my line, the first Macy's we've been into. So I'm so excited. How easy was to get in Macy's? <laughs> Not easy at all. Easy, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy at all. So a few gray hairs. Oh, yeah, a lot of gray hairs. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Finally, we're here, so I'm focused on that and then just continue to grow with Macy's and going into other stores. So, <laughs> Macy's, 
It was a great experience. <laughs> yeah. Are you still around with that? What's going on with that? Oh, well, with everything going on right now, we are not, I mean, we still work with Macy's, but it's not as big of a focus as it was back then. You know, it's so funny how 2020 puts a lot in perspective. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Uh, so and another thing that we have in common, especially you and I, because we met at an HSN American Dreamers event yes. and we had that dream. Yes. And this is one of the other things that Lisa, you can jump in if you, mm -hmm. uh, once I say it, you, you can jump in and say, but sometimes as an entrepreneur that have our, we have our own brand, we suffer from this affliction that is called the carrot and the stick. Mm -hmm. Meaning somebody waves the carrot, are you gonna be on HSN? <laughs> You're gonna be very famous. You're gonna make a lot of money. And then boom, it disappeared. I had a line of little dolls that was like from a company and they, a whole thing was created and then it disappeared. And we just have to keep going and keep waking up every day. And go ahead, tell, talk to me, Alex. What do you think? Do you, did you suffer from that a little bit after oh, American I mean, Dreamers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I mean, for me, it was just, uh, we had the HSN thing, that was great. But I feel like it's part of entrepreneurship and you know, you just learn as you go. And there's sometimes where you think, if I just get this, that's gonna be, you know, that's gonna be it. And that's really what I want. But sometimes when you get into it, you realize that, whoa, there's a lot that I don't know, but I see it as a learning step. So now I feel like I know where I want my business to go. I know the direction that I'm going in and what I don't want. Um, so it's still a beautiful thing because you're learning as you go and you're just getting better every day. They're and growing pains. I don't pains. know if Lisa, They're yeah. growing pains. <laughs> Lisa, anything you wanna talk about? Have you ever had a carrot and the stick? moment um in the very beginning not with this current business but with this guy a swimwear i feel like that was our little test dummy so mm -hmm. we did have a lot of hiccups there we did lose a lot of money a lot of investment money through that um but i learned from my mistakes and i think the best thing that i did was um i grew my own carrots and i'm not chasing anything anymore so i'm just opening my own doors and yes. you know i have my own stores so it's yes. okay <laughs> i grew yes. my own carrots that is a meme of it. the week i love it uh because you sometimes you think oh if i'm in hsn if i'm mm -hmm. at macy's it's going to be the last coca-cola in the desert you know what yep. i mean mm -hmm. and it, it and it is not and speaking of Coca-Cola in the desert, somebody that is fresh as can be, <laughs> it's my dearest friend, uh, Zach Dishinger, 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 I don't even know. <laughs> but he's one of the most beautiful men in the world. And he has a gorgeous line called Formula, S, Formula Z Cosmetics. Uh, welcome to the show, uh, Zach, how are you? Carlos, thank you for having me. Can you hear me okay? We can hear you okay. Yes. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys. It, it, look, at, it, look at this square. I just love this. It's like it's Rubik's Cube. It's like Rubik's Cube of entrepreneurship. I love it. This is my studio. Thank you so much, Carlos, for having me. So nice to meet you guys, Lisa, Alex. So I'm such a big fan. I was stalking you guys uh, a while before the show, but it's so amazing to meet fellow entrepreneurs who are so passionate about stuff like I am. <laughs> right. Zach, before I continue, I want to play a little clip about your brand. Let me just play that. I love Whoa. that. Oh, my I love that video. <laughs> that, that was a good piece. I like how that was done with the smoke and stuff. 
I love it because it's very MTV and MTV when it. they play cool videos. I, I don't even it. know what they play now. Yeah. Uh, with the glitch and stuff. Yeah. Zach, you're also not a stranger to Tendencias. Uh. So uh, uh, just like Alex, just like Lisa. And I haven't, did I play Lisa's? Did I play yours already? No. Oh, so sorry, girl. You're gonna have to wait. But let's play. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's play sax on Tendencias a few years ago, shall we? Meeting Where did you go? We went. We met with a lot of publications, and we shot without magazine. And um, I hung out with family for New Year's, so it was just such an awesome trip. I saw some of your pictures, and congratulations yeah, on out. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Zach is a fierce makeup artist. And uh, the way that I got to meet him, it, we were doing an event together. I was in one of the designers and he was doing makeup. And what some of my models didn't have the right makeup. So <laughs> I, it was like the sea parted and I saw him from across the room. He was fully painted yeah. and I fell in love and I was just like, models, go get him. Yeah. And uh, so you I did their makeup, face. I beat them up and beat them up. up. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> yeah, I think it was meant to be. You beat their face, I beat them up. I think that's so, you know, yeah. They so sometimes you just have to beat your models. <laughs> your face. No, it's what you have to do. Um, but I'm so excited to be on here, Carlos. Thank you so Zach, much. Zach, you come from a background. Your background is theater, correct? It's theater and broadcasting. So it definitely helps me talk on camera a lot when I just rolled out of bed. That's for sure. Uh, okay, that's the way that you move your mouth and your perfect like <laughs> pronunciation. Yes, totally, totally, yes. totally. Yes. Yeah. So, how does Formula Z Cosmetics? How how it, how was it born? Where did that come from? Yeah. So I was 15 when I started it, and I really looked. Wait, back. how old are you now? No, I'm, I'm 18 now. Okay. <laughs> so, just wondering. 15th, yeah. and he had a brand that we, we was featured in Out Magazine. It was like, anyway. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> it was basically, like, I went into Sephora, and when I was 15, there was no guys wearing makeup. So I went into Sephora. I didn't see myself on the shelf. So I needed to do something about that, right, at 15. So I literally put stuff together. I stole my mom's makeup. I mixed stuff together. Um, met with the manufacturers and I was like, guys, you know, I need a guy in makeup. At the time, there was no guys in makeup like they are now. And so I really try to like make that my my mission statement that we're transforming beauty, that we're all inclusive, we're unapologetic, and we make good for you goes glam products. Um, and that's really, we're unisexy. We're for everyone, no matter race, age, gender, sexual orientation, you know, we're for everyone, and that and that that remains true to this day. Did you just say unisexy? Because that's I like sickening. That. Uh, unisexy, yeah, like <laughs> unisexy. We are unisexy, and uh, I'm wearing unisexy right now on my lips. It's our uh -oh. um, uh -oh. our killing uh -oh. gloss. Twenty four dollars <laughs> available on Formula D. That is a businessman right there. <laughs> All right. So uh, I, I know that I, I was asking the the ladies. Uh, before that they have partners that they're very supportive. In your case, I met Miss Tara, Mother Tara, who I freaking love. I'm yeah. obsessed with her. Yeah. And it's your lovely mother, although your father is super, super, super supportive, and I didn't meet him. Talk yeah. to me a little bit about this relationship it's between really, your family. It's a lot, and it's scary how a lot of people are shocked how parents support a gay kid. It's it's shocking. To this day. It's it's an anomaly, right? Yeah. To people that parents can support a kid who has different, you know, preferences than the rest of us. And it's and it's so meaningful to me because they've supported me from the start of this journey and they still continue, you know, it's just the three of us. Like it's literally just the three of us. Um, and so to have people on my side like that, and the best part about it is that other people realize that as well. So parents who may be struggling, um, with their relationships with their kids or whether it be, you know, an identity issue, they can see that it's like totally normalized and it's fine. So I think that's really what makes formula Z formula Z is that we're family and, and, and we support everyone. Your mother is gorgeous. And I mean, when I grew up, I, I would get beat up by my parents. I, I'll tell you the truth. I wouldn't, I didn't, but I'm just saying, if I would wear the makeup or whatever, which I 
didn't. I was more like, let me dress the Barbies of my sister. Uh, but it was it was really hard. And uh, I I I commend your parents, and I love I I love your story, and that's why you're here uh, yeah, again. Yeah, they're so, awesome. They're awesome, uh, awesome, awesome people. So since we uh, have everybody on the board, I want to make sure that we are going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, entrepreneurship and our brands and how hard yet satisfying it is to have your own gig, to not have to. I always say my favorite thing is that I don't have to wake, to wake up until I'm done sleeping. <laughs> and I'm not saying that I'm a lard ass, although I have gained a lot of weight. But uh, I'm not. I'm not boring. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not lazy. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm not lazy. I wake up early. I'm a morning person. I'm not a vampire anymore like I used to be. I work really hard. So I want us to talk a little bit about how is your relationship with being an entrepreneur and how hard it is. And we discussed this a little bit, uh, Zach. But I before you came into the frame. I want us, I want you to tell me a little bit, especially launching a brand during high school, during, before the pandemic, before the pandemic. <laughs> How was that for you? Because I'm sure you had to still go to school, get your exams and blah. blah. <laughs> go ahead, talk to me. Okay, wait. So in all honesty, five to seven conference calls a day at school from 7 to 3 p.m. So I would be like, can I go to the bathroom? Oh, uh, my God. Totally, I would totally take a conference call during class and get his attention. <gasps> a, referral, a referral, as they called it, when I was when I was in high school. It was like, like literally like last month. But anyways, um, <laughs> so they would, yeah, no. So it's, it's, it's the grind. It's the hustle. And every entrepreneur gets that. And it's like, no matter how big you are, The biggest people, like you don't get bigger than some of the people that say, no one knows me yet. Mm -hmm. The biggest people say that. And it's like the entrepreneur mindset. And that is the coolest part because it's like a hamster on a wheel. You just keep on going like, well, you know what? I, I scored this. You know what? Never enough. Next one. You know what? That's yeah. not enough. I want to go here. I want to go here. I want to go here. Yeah. So it's like, that's the cool part because, and I think the coolest part about it is that we all have our own projects going and no matter how big they get, we're still gonna have the same mindsets, right? Like hopefully we're still gonna be humble. Hopefully we're gonna take these projects and be good people with it because there's a lot of people, entrepreneurs out there that take these projects and you know, it's just like the next product for them. And I think what's really important for our brand specifically is that we support small brands. We support initiatives that we care about. You know, the Trevor Project, suicide prevention, LGBT youth, it's so important. Mental health is so important today. And so that these brands are stepping up and saying something about it. That's why I wake up every morning and do what I do. All of these people on the board here uh, give back to the community. They all have their own uh, section in their website of giving back to the community. And this is what I love. Another thing that I love, and this is just a testament to all of you people that I love so much, all of you three, uh, it's just that you are genuinely happy for other people's success. I don't like bitchiness. I don't like, when I when I told Lisa that another makeup person was coming on board, Lisa, what did you say? I said, please do it. <laughs> like, why not? <laughs> you're like, I'm obsessed with him is what you said. So you're like, yeah. you're like, he is like so hot and beautiful. I'm obsessed <laughs> with him. And this is what I love. You know, Ali make mask. Uh, Alex, Alex makes yeah. mask just like I do. Mm -hmm. She has her gig. I got my gig. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, everybody know. Most of the people that know me know that uh, Araceli started making my mask, and she's the one that got me started. And it's all about we have to keep helping each other because the major corporations. I'm not going to name anybody, but um, you know they have their PPP loans or PPD loans or PP loans. I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> We just have to PP ourselves into like new money. You know what I mean? We just have to keep putting a foot in front of the other. Um, anything that you guys want to say about, comment about that, Ali? Alex, 
I keep calling you Ali because that's I, your uh, last name. Well, Ali, it's fine. Okay. But, um, yeah, it's, I mean, so true. I feel like we all have to champion each other. If we're all helping each other and mentioning each other's names in rooms that could help each other succeed, that's just all of us doing, you know, bringing each other up. So that's the way I see it. I don't see it as a competition because I only compete with myself, what exactly. I did last year and what I'm going to do next year. It's all about me. Everybody else has their own lane and there is enough out there for everybody. And you know what? If a bunch of my friends are at the top, guess who's next? Me. So, you know, so that, that's the <laughs> yeah. <way I> <laughs> love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. All right. All right. So now it's time to plug our products because this is, we gotta, we gotta make some coins. And this is one of the things that I wanted to do is that this is the holiday season. This is the season to give special gifts, but not just to give uh, gifts that you can buy anywhere. So all of you guys agreed to give a special discount to our viewers on Tendencias. And we are going to start with Ali, Alex. Oh my God, Alex, uh, Alex. So uh, one of the things that I love about your handbags is that they're just so beautifully crafted. Uh, the leather is sickening. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> and you just introduced a new color for the new Michelle bag, which is yeah. this bag right here in the middle. Okay. And I love this bag. I want all three. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, we have this slide up, and I know that you have the bag. Hold, hold it there but hold because it. I'm coming okay. back. I'm coming okay. back. But talk to me about this bag. How what what's the story? If there is a story behind it, yeah. Before everybody, before you do that, FW <laughs> excuse me, fwstyle.com code holiday twenty for twenty percent off on your order. So talk to me about Michelle. Okay, so this bag is I wanted to create something that just had elegance and style something that you know a lady could wear that you don't even have to speak the bag speaks for you um it was named after michelle obama because to me she just exudes a lot of class and um and that's just what i wanted to do so she was kind of my muse when i was thinking of drawing and sketching this bag and i wanted it to make it in different colors that were a little bit different for us we've never done that shade of purple before um and purple is royalty pink i feel makes every girl stand out and then for clients that just want the classic black that they could use you know, for that meeting or for travel, um, we created the black on the shell, which we just introduced um, last week. Show us the bag right now, since you have it right there, I think. So this is the Michelle, the lighting is kind of off a little bit here, but this is the Michelle bag. It's just a gorgeous bag all around. Can you, am I in frame? Okay, here. Let me see. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to find a good frame. I love it. it I love that bag. I wish wow. you guys could feel the leather. It's really, really soft, soft leather. And wow. then it has pockets here. One thing about our bags is all of them are hot pink on the inside. Um, so it's like a dose of happiness every time you open your bag. Oh, oh Lisa, that is screaming your name, girl. I know, it's like a little Louboutin is red on the inside. It's so cute. And I yes. can tell by the structure, it's like luxurious. Like yes. that looks expensive. Thank this you. is not some rinky dinky bag. No, this is not like at the all. Real, the real, real deal. Wow. Uh, I love me some Michelle bag. I love that you introduced her in black. Yes. I don't know why it took you so long to get the black in, I girl. Know. But yes. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show the next slide because you have other products as well, also with your discount. And this mm -hmm. is your Elfie yeah. gift set, which is the mask and the wristle. Yes. Uh, yes. For sixty dollars, mm -hmm. and then we have the rose bag, which is one of my favorites because I mm -hmm. love a little bag as well. But then we have the Nikki mini bag as well. So. Anything that you want to tell us about these three bags? Yeah, okay. So the first thing is we introduced the mask um, when everything started going on with the pandemic. I knew that my girls would want, you know, obviously we're all have or required to wear masks, but I wanted to do something that was a little bit more elevated. Um, so I decided to do leather and um, it's not just any leather mask. It's really well made. Um, this is one of them that I can show you here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta, okay. I gotta take the, the, the slide out. 
Oh, okay. There you go. Show us. Yeah, but this is the leather mask. Um, it's made oh, of really my beautiful gosh. soft leather. Um, has like the vent holes in the front. Um, has an adjustable strap as well here, and it's made with a gold bar. So it's really meant to wow. be very elevated. Um, the inside of it has like this removable cloth, so you can toss this in the washer when you're done. So I really took my time to figure out what people will want. It's a unisex mask, so it's for both men and women wear it, get compliments everywhere that they go. A lot of our girls that buy it, buy it in like all the colors that we have, and men also. And I then, love yeah. Why not, wait, wait, before I want to interrupt you as a mess designer, yeah. darling, uh, that, that, those are not easy to make. Like we went through like tons of different uh, patterns in order for us to make the right fit. Yeah. And uh, the craftsmanship on a mask, because it's something that we never thought that was, we were going to be using. No. We were designing, I was designing scarves, you were designing uh, purses and and mm -hmm. suddenly here we are we have to make crap not crap Sh yeah. uh, not shit uh you know what i'm trying to say we needed to make something happen and yes. it was it's hard to try to make the right fit it it really is um and especially for me i'm using leather so i needed to be really careful as the people are going to be screaming oh i'm not going to be able to breathe they're already screaming i can't exactly. breathe so the type of leather the vents that I put in it, what's in the back of it. Um, and, you know, all of our leather come in our protective um, dust cover, you know. So I wanted to, I really took my time to think about it. So when, when everybody else was making masks, I wasn't making it yet because I was still trying to make sure it was perfect. And then when we released it, you know, the, a lot of people were just excited about it because it was something different. Well, I'm excited about your line. I'm excited that you have for our viewers on Tendencias. Make sure that you're watching now live, mm -hmm. or if you're watching later of the recorder, the recording, uh, use the go to fwstyle.com and use the code HOLIDAY20 for 20% off. This is only going on for us viewers of Tendencias. So please make sure that you support our gorgeous, beautiful mm -hmm. Alex. And now we're gonna move to Mr. Zach. And Zach, you're on mute. Um, there you are. I yes. <laughs> All right, Zach. So before we go, I'm gonna show your slides and your. Sli oh, we can talk over the slides. So we have Formula Cosmet Formula Z Cosmetics.com, and you have a Mega Beauty kit for sixty-four dollars. Talk to me about this kit and about the offer that you're offering to Tendencias. Go ahead. Yeah. Is there any way you can put me back Absolutely. so I can show everyone Absolutely. everything? Okay. There you go. Everyone. <laughs> welcome back welcome. to my channel. I know. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. We're live on Trendentius. Thank you so much for having me, Carlos. I wanted to show you because we're on Trendentia, so it's all about what's hot, what's trending, right? And what's trending right now is holiday beauty kits. So everyone wants everything for everyone, right? So you want to get everything in bulk. You want to buy it for your relatives buy one get one free buy one a lipstick a lip gloss for yourself a lip gloss for mom whatever you want to do so what we're offering is the mega beauty kit for 64 dollars. so this is basically like all the essentials you could ever want in one gorgeous can we talk oh about my this? god oh. that packaging is sickening I sketched it myself you guys got this so, <laughs> so you guys get everything here uh for 64 dollars a lip plumper First class gloss kit, so you get two of our best-selling liquid lipsticks, four glosses, and one amazing lip plumper. And That's the best the one part, I want. Yeah, and the best part about this lip plumper is that. No, oh, that is so cool. I love it. <laughs> get out of town with the packaging. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so the mega beauty kits and holiday kits are so trending right now. So you get everything basically from our site for 64 bucks. It's like the best deal ever. Um, and then also we have these amaze glazes that are gorgeous. And these are for lips, skin, lids, and lashes for your whole face. And these are our cosmic gelée amaze glazes. Wow. So, you know, we obviously sell these, um, in singles, but we have a kit going on right now just for the holidays for $72. You get 
all glazes for $72. And we're offering a special promotion code Trendencias for $10 off. And um, so, yeah, so we have all these amazing mega, mega, mega power beauty kits for the holidays. Wait, there's there's another one, this one. Yes, we also have the Plumpaholic Powerhouse Duo. So you get our best-selling holiday red along with our Magic Plumping XXL Lip Plumper Plumpaholic. And um, this retails for $24. But once again, you can get $10 off with the code Trendencias. So super amazing. Are you stuff. kidding me? Twenty. dollars $24 and you get $10 off? Someone I mean, if you're police, not getting this deal. product, people, <laughs> <laughs> I do I, I do feel like I'm in HSN, but if you're not getting any of these products for not even stocking stuffer like Xavier was talking about when he commented, this is a real gift. A mask is a real gift. Go ahead, yes. Zach. You, you, no, you have was, something was, else. You have something else. No, no, no. You were talking. Uh, I was showing. Uh, 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 that's it. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Oh my that's God, it, it is it. beautiful. It is that's, beautiful. This is, this is the unisexy kit. Oh. Is that the lip plumper? Because I love a good lip plumper. I'm wearing yeah, some right now. Yeah, that's what I, I have like a bad right now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that's gorgeous, Zach. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Please go to formulazcosmetics.com. And now we're going to go to Lisa's palette this is your new baby and i know that you had a baby before called snatched and it was yes, your first man. palette this is your second uh palette and you are giving a 30 percent off on your total order with the code tendencias as well on ladycodeshop.com ladycodeshop.com talk to me a little bit about this palette so this is my second daughter. Um, these palettes take about nine months from start to finish. So literally like daughter. A kid. Yes, I think it's a little bit more work um, putting into it. But I wanted a palette where you can create any look with just one palette because I travel a lot. I don't have room to be bringing all these Morphe palettes that have like similar tones. So I just wanted to bring you like the light, light colors and the dark, dark colors, some shimmers, some neons. And you can really get creative with this palette and create so many looks. As you can see on the slide right here, um, me and my two models, um, they actually have an interesting story. Cataluna is a transgender model and um, Carousel is um, gender Which fluid. one is which? which see, is you the... can't tell. Exactly. Well, it's not about that. Yeah, exactly. Cataluna Who... is the um, brunette ones with the brunette. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, they're so amazing. So we did do like a whole campaign where they shared their story. Um, but you can see all the looks that we're wearing is from that palette. And we also did like a whole natural campaign too. Okay. So talk to me about uh, what... I, I'm sorry I didn't put the, the regular price on the influencer. That's okay. It's $35. So with 35 Thirty percent off. I don't know how much that is. I don't do math. We don't do math real well. <laughs> it's but like, this what's is that? <laughs> <laughs> but this is one of the things that I was gonna ask Alex. It's like Alex, um, I'm sure that working in the bank didn't help your uh, designing thing, but it probably helped with the numbers because Lisa <laughs> and I. I don't know about Zach, but. Lisa and I, we don't do numbers real well. So the fact that yeah. you work at a bank and you know about loans and fine print, this is a whole other tea. Wait, I hate to interrupt you. Do you say, so you know, like P&Ls and stuff like that? Because that's like the, the worst thing to do. It is. I well, yes, working at the bank and all of that did help me with that. So yes, I was going to say, well, so. oh my yeah. God, <laughs> that is the death of me. My like P&Ls, accounting stuff, expense ports. That's like the non-fun part of makeup. Yes. You Zach, know, this is, this is where business. we all good. We like glazed up and we're like, what are you talking about? Yeah, like, I just what? spaced out. Sorry, I left. Wait, are you speaking Russian? Because <laughs> I don't understand. You know what I'm talking about, Alex? You know? <laughs> I know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, good, yes. good, 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 good. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, you're not. You're not. See, but the curse about it is then I feel like I can do everything. I want to be the designer and oh, yeah. the accountant. And, the, you know, because I feel like I know all these things and, Sometimes I have to just be like, no, I don't. So I don't do it. I know exactly. it, but I don't do it. You have to say, like you it. have to say, you know what, guys? I mean, it's like normal people. It's okay. You know, nine to five, five o'clock, put my bag away. But it's like one o'clock at night. You know what, Zach? You can't write another email. Let's go to bed. Room's right there. Go to bed. Exactly. You're exactly. done. Exactly. And you got to tap out because you know what? You can't do it all. And that's the best part about growing a team, growing a business. You know, you develop these 
relationships that people know what they're doing and they want to see you succeed. Well, or, you have to be able to depend on other people, right? Mm -hmm. You have to. You have to. Yeah, you have, you have to. to. You can even though we want to do it all. Oh, we well, do want to do it all. Course, and then we can get a little protected. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, Lisa, I don't want to I don't want to sell you short, but let's talk about snatch because you have it behind you. Can you yes. grab that palette and show us the first baby? This is my first snatched. baby. And I'm actually I did my full face with her, including my eyes. So if you if I look down, you can see the colors. I use the shade influence on my lids and I blended it out with wig cap. Um, and that's it for my eyes, actually. And then I use the rest for highlight, um, highlight, blush, and then contour over here. So it's just like one palette. She has a mirror on it, so you can take it with you. And for the professionals, it folds back. So when you're doing makeup, it's just nice and compact. And everything's magnetic, so you can replace the pans. Girl, yes. you are giving me life right yes. now. You are giving me full life right now. Uh, before we continue, and we have a lot to cover. It's only <laughs> 8, 9, 47. We oh my God, there's more? more? There's more? Uh, there's more. We have to talk <laughs> about fashion. We have we have, it's it's not about just that. We got to talk about some kinky fashion. But we need to take a, a 30 second, uh, just uh, a word from our sponsors. Uh, I think it's called the Marrero Collection. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Well, I had to plug my line in. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I worked really hard on these beautiful ponchos that are very complimentary to every shape, size, age. And I'm very proud of them. They've been doing real well, as well as my masks in the middle with our gorgeous friend, Lisa Opie, your, our friend, Silvana Camargo. And then I have a beautiful line of silk scarves uh, for men. And you can go to marrerocollection.com and you can use the code TRENDENCIAS for 20% off your total order. So I just have to do my thing. <laughs> Carla, right. I have to tell you something. Since I spent the week with Miss Earth, she would not take your masks off. Every day she would put on a new gown and she'd be like, Lisa, do you have one of those Carlos masks that I can wear? And I kept giving her a new mask every single day, sometimes twice a day. She loves them and they're so high fashion. She's gorgeous. So you sent me that. Oh, <gasps> yeah. He, he got a Marrero mask on right now. Yeah, this, I love it. This is my like Madonna, La Isla Bonita kind of feel, like oh flamenco kind of feel. Yes. It's Sick so name. pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, so I just have to plug myself because we got to do what we got to do. Yeah. Uh, so it would not be a Trendencias unless we talk about fashion. And now is when we're going to get some real kiki. And we're going to start with some red carpet fashion. And I don't know about you people, but I live for red carpets. And we have been missing a little bit of that. Yeah. But um, I managed to gather a few things. And the first slide that we have is about suits. And these are some of the suits that I picked. The first one is a pink po power suit. Uh, Anne Hatch, who was married to Ellen DeGeneres for a little bit. Uh, she looks amazing in this uh, pink suit, uh, pantsuit with a lace cami. And then we have fashion icon, Tracy Ellis, who is the daughter of Diana Ross, who just grabbed the E People's Choice Awards for fashion icon yeah. with this gorgeous double-breasted suit. I love that double-breasted is coming back. It's very simple. Look at the slit on the pants, very flare at the bottom. Oh, if you look at Ann Hatches on the left, you can see the slit on the pants as well, very uh, open. And the statement earrings and Lisa and Zach talked to me about this lip in red. Then we have the Think Pink, uh, which is uh, J Jamila Jamil uh, from The Good Place. And she was wearing this pink, way exaggerated shoulder, very 80s, red carpet in a hot pink uh, Christopher John Rogers power suit. 
Who wants to go first? Um, I can go. So I love, I love pink. I just think that anytime you can wear pink, it just, just elevates um, a look. Um, I think it's pink is an attitude. It's not even a color. It's an attitude. Um, Ooh, I love that. Yes. And I love Tracy Ellis Ross. Okay, I wait, love stop. You totally have to trademark that. Stop it right now. <laughs> exactly. exactly. We're getting, we're getting real lines for the future here. Okay, wait, what, what did pink you is an attitude. attitude. Pink isn't an ad. I don't know what you said, but it was good. Pink isn't it's, a color; it's an attitude. Trademark. Yes, that right now. it's not a color; it's an attitude. And um, I love um, Tracy Ellis Ross. I love the structure. That's the suit that I love the structure most out of all these three. All right. Anybody else, Zach, uh, Lisa, about this before I give my two cents? <laughs> Lisa, go. I'm gonna because I talk too much. <laughs> well, the pink, the think pink look, I love it. I just think the hair needs to be a little bit different. Like if she had a really short bob or even like a pixie, I think it would have been a lot different. Yeah, I know. I definitely have to go with what Lisa's saying because Jamila definitely takes the cake for me on this one. I love Tracy, but the camera's just not doing it for me. Mm -hmm. Jamila took the cake. Done. So you like Jamila better? Oh, a hundred percent. She she's has this slide. Like she. All right, yeah. Zach, this That's is that. where daddy says something. <laughs> I think this whole look swallows her. Like, I think her hair needs to be shorter. Yeah. Her shoulders could be a little bit more but tailored. Carlos, wait, 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 lips, wait, wait, wait. Lips moving to still talking. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I just think like the shoulders are way too big because now they droop. They're not even strong shoulders. And I just think there's too much fabric there for her. I just want to tailor it just a little bit. Alex, what do you think? Do you agree? I totally agree. I think that I like the color, but I, I, I the structure of it, especially on her frame, I just think it's a bit much. I think it swallows her. It looks yes. like she's wearing no. an extra large and she's a small. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think the light pink one is swallowing her, but we'll agree to disagree. Oh, the light pink one. But the thing is, like, Anne Hedge, she's like Jurassic Park old. <laughs> oh so to me, the fact that she looks so amazing, look at Alex. She's like gagging. <laughs> okay, so, there's, so there's no rules. This is un unrestricted. This is like fashion <laughs> police, but, like, there's this no This is rules. where we have fun and, like, we just <laughs> oh beat God. each other up. And you're like, girl, like, this lip gloss is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I say it with love. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah. So let's. <laughs> oh my God. I'm never going to hear the end of that one. <laughs> so let's talk about the next three. And then I'm moving into short dresses. Mm -hmm. And these short dresses, we have Bold and Beautiful from singer BB Rexa. And then we have Ruffle Ready uh, singer Rita Ora who I know from Project, uh, not Project Runway, America's Next Top Model. And then we have Fabian Fendi from Australian singer Delta Goodrem. Um, Zach, what do you feel about, how do you feel about these? I'm actually glad that you picked on me first because I'm really close with Rita and so I just have to go with her. Wait, 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 wait. You know her? Well, we both support um, the largest suicide prevention organization <gasps> for LGBT youth. So we go to the wow. same gala every year. So I just have to go with Rita. And this is, we give 30% to the Trevor Project for this lippy at formulaz.shop. Wait, uh, wait, uh, there, show it. Come this, close to the camera, darling. This there, is, there you go. So for every one of these, we give 30% to the Trevor Project. And me and Rita go there every single year to this one gala and she sings and stuff. So it's good to know that these big artists really support small, um, meaningful initiatives. So I love, I love BB. I love, you know, all this stuff, but just your eye automatically gravitates towards Rita anyways, you know? Alex, anything you want to say about these three? Um, I love it. I do like the dress, um, Rita's dress, but as far as like more my style, I I think that the I think you said Delta is that her name? Delta Goodrem. Um, Fab yeah. and Fendi. I, I knew you were gonna say that. I, I knew you were gonna say I, that. I knew you were gonna say that. that. Just the color combination. I mean, she just looks so chic. Alex, I mean, you know I why love you picked her? You know why you picked her? Because she has a bag. 
Oh, no. And it's colorful. But it's not just that she has a bag. It's that she has a styled bag because yeah. her jacket is matching. To me, it's giving me like 50s, which is my favorite era ever. Oh, cool. Like yeah. it's giving me like Madman or yes. like, uh, it's just giving me like classy, gorgeous, blah, blah, blah. Now, I don't know about BB on the left, but those boots are way too big. The skirt is oh, it's okay. it's well, either <laughs> pick the volume on their skirt or on the boots. The boobs are just way too much for me. <laughs> like, we can bring them together from Asia to New York and oh uh, we just need to lift them up a little bit. Really? I don't know. But and I then the know. hair, and I just don't know. So Lisa, you go. You close. Yeah. You close. I'm going to defend BB, and I feel like, honestly, it's me, Alexandria, and Zach on the red carpet because I'm definitely <laughs> BB, and then Zach's in the middle, and then we have Alexandria. It's just yes! cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love my children. That like, is love true. Children. Each one has their favorite red carpet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. 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 All right. To close with our fashion segment, uh, let's move into like more like evening, shall we? Yes. Here we go. So we have a uh, sequin queen, country star, C uh, Carrie Underwood. Uh, she looks gorgeous in this sequin dress. We're gonna go back to that. Then we have slaying gold with Laverne Cox that dominates the red carpet in the black dress with a very, very, very open whatever. And then we have all that shines with Colombian uh, singer songwriter, Carol G that sparkles in the runway with an extravagant baby pink dress. Oh, wait. Who wants to go first? Oh, I'm totally going first. Okay, so, <laughs> so if Laverne took Carol's hair, now we're talking. Okay. You know what oh, I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, gotcha. So like, that's, that's something there. You know what I mean? Like if Laverne took Carol's hair, cause Carol Baskin. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because I like the orange dress. I like Carol's hair. You know, Carrie, we'll talk about her later. Oh, no, we're going to talk about her now. I want to talk about Carrie right now. She's okay, you're going to talk about her now. Carol, like, Carrie is lucky that she's on Tendencias right now because that look is so basic. It's way too safe. Like, you're going to a red carpet and you're dressed like you're going to church. Like, come mm. on, girl. Yikes. All right, it's Alex, hot. before I go for the kill, because you know I'm going for the kill of <laughs> Carrie yeah. Underwood. You go. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not really feeling any of these. Like, I'm just not. I I, I think that I don't like um, Carrie Underwood's look. I think that that pink dress, even or pink sparkly dress, is a bit much. There's a lot going on there. And LeBron, yeah. I, I mean, I feel like her hair and the dress. It's a lot. I I'm I'm not feeling any of them. All right, so let me just go <laughs> ahead. So we got Carrie Underwood, which we have to pick between the belt on the leg or the shoulder, the, 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 the sleeves. Because <laughs> yeah. the sleeves are swallowing you and then you are petite. You're not a tall girl. Mm -hmm. So this dress is completely wrong for your shape. Mm -hmm. This is not the right dress for you. It's making you look older and frumpier, yet you're trying to look sexy with a fake Versace <laughs> belt. And I don't know about you, but it, I am not living for it. Her hair, it looks like she just came out of like uh, Pilates and, and she just put her in a, in a ponytail. <laughs> I'm not living for this look at all. I feel very uh, Joan Rivers and I'm just as old. So then we're gonna go into the Colombian singer, uh, Carol G. This is a hot mess express quinceañera cake oh you said this it. is just like a quinceanera cake and i don't know what are the words in the front but it's like graffiti oh, hot mess oh, they're like God. words i think oh. they're words i don't even know if she's trying to make a statement but the statement is i am horrible at dressing myself <laughs> oh i think she was telling everyone to vote i think that's what that was oh. is it a vote oh. no i don't know i'm just kidding i don't know what that oh. is <laughs> But she's wearing red and she's telling people to vote. How do you feel about that? It's a statement. It's but something. The dress that I love, and I do agree with Zach and uh, and Lisa, I think her wig, because uh, that's a wig. I'm sorry. It's a wig. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, but like Laverne Cox, who I love, I love, 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 love. She's a gorgeous lady. Mm -hmm. But that wig has got to go. 
But that dress reminds me of uh, Beyonce. My Beyonce single ladies. Well, Beyonce single ladies or our my daughter Lisa Opie last night wore this. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, uh, see, but that, that wig do now not that drag my wig. Dress. That's a dress. That's now a that's dress. a dress. Oh my god, that mask is beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that's awesome. So, um, hold on, I, I'm trying to get out. Uh, it's okay, you can repeat it. By, 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 the way, no, by the way, nobody <laughs> heard you. Nobody heard you because when a video plays, we, you cannot hear us. You so, we Lisa wearing that dress last night, I am gagged because I was just like, it's wow. not the same. It's but not it's, the same. It's the same family. <laughs> Yeah, kind of the thing. wig. I mean, everything. Oh, girl, your hair was on point. No, I'm sorry. Your hair was a, like it's not the same. Your, your dress hair was a dress. Was that was a point. dress. The fit, the fabric of it, everything. It was beautiful. The Thank pose, you. the booty, and everything yes. else. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna close with one of my favorite uh, segments, which is called fashion memes of the week. And in the fashion memes of the week, uh, we're going to start with a fashion meme of the week, which is called, I don't know if you guys were watching The Queen, but if you watch The Queen on Netflix, I love Princess Diana. And it says here, never forget the Princess Diana, that Princess Diana wore this dress after Prince Charles confessed that he was cheating on her. So let's talk about sweet revenge, shall we? <laughs> She looks good. That this was, is, that was a good this is how you say, my husband, older man, uptight, was cheating on me with Camilla, <laughs> who's a brick. There, <laughs> I said it. She's a brick. And I am this. So, Zach, how do you feel about her? Okay, first picture totally looks like the guy's wearing an N95, does it not? Oh! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> That's all my eye went to. I don't know why. She looks good. Yeah. She looks amazing. Lisa, yeah. anything you want to say about this one or no? That was it. <laughs> Lisa, um, anything from you? Not really, no. I could see you in this dress, Lisa, by the way. Yeah, but without the tights and a little bit shorter. But Lisa, yeah. do you like, <laughs> I, I want to ask you something. Do you like superhero movies? No. You do? I like, like chick flicks. <laughs> I like you like movies. chick flicks, like okay. Girls. Alex, do you like superhero movies? I'm the same, just rom romance, like ro um, comedy, romance, mm -hmm. chick Romantic flicks, that's comedy. Me. Yeah. Yep. Well, what about this kind of superhero movie? <laughs> well, I've heard about Aquaman. <laughs> I watch superhero movies for the action, and the action is, give me Superman on the upper left right there. I don't know about you. I would say as, as adventurous I get is Real Housewives of something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, I'm going to have you back for a Real Housewives like reunion. Right here. Okay, we'll but, do that. Uh, uh, by, by the way, not to go like off script, but uh, this is my show, so I can. How about Miss Thing going lesbian from Real Housewives of Orange County? What are you talking about? Oh, oh. I wouldn't. My God, oh, I don't, I didn't, I didn't get that Amber alert on my phone. Ronwen, <laughs> Ronwen with like 20 child, 20 kids and her beautiful boyfriend, husband, sorry. And she just came out as a lesbian. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I haven't heard of that. Well, good for her that she has <laughs> confidence to tell the world. Oh, uh, exactly. All right. So the last meme of the week is, um, we know this person right here. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? When you haven't downloaded the Formula Z app, yeah. I guess somebody's gonna want to talk about this meme. Go ahead. Well, I mean, yeah, so I like created an app last week, so you can get all of our notifications, all our newest sales, and everything on um, Formula Z available on the App Store and Google Play. Oh my God! Wow, Who knew? that's awesome. Just yeah, ladies. Just when we thought that we had it going, like Zach has his own app for like making your own meme. Go. Well, I'm going to quit. Let's go. <laughs> I know. I'm going to go. This is our babies, you know? This is our livelihood, and it's our job, and it's it's what we do 24-7, and especially, you know, like, the pandemic for me obviously put 
a lot in perspective, especially because I was, I'm still, if my mom's watching, I'm still going to college. But, She's watching, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute. She just she posted, she just, oh, she she just, just posted like, that. I'm going to college, mom, I'm going to college. So, you know, um, but but yeah, it really, it really uh, puts things in perspective and, and what, what's important. So, yeah. Yeah. It so really I, I, I'm glad you said that because we are six minutes over time, but <laughs> I just want to make sure that we go back to a closing statement, like, uh, like the uh, precedence debate. Um, <laughs> Zach, since you started, how has the pandemic changed the way either that you look at life, the way you're going to approach life, anything that you have come to an uh, aha moment like Oprah says? Yes, yes. And that is really what I was trying to talk about before, but I went on a thing. Okay, so basically what happened is, is I you know, started this in high school, going to college, and going to continue doing this. But with the pandemic, obviously, since everything's online and I have to take two years before I can even touch makeup or perfume in a lab, like I just have to take math for two years, like before I can even do what I want. It's kind of like it really put things in perspective. Like I am kind of already doing stuff, you know, and there's no vendors that they can tell me about that I don't know about. And there's no manufacturers. There's a lot of stuff that I've learned over the course of doing the brand that they wouldn't be able to teach me. And I'm not just, you know, it's just, it's facts. So, mm -hmm. um, so I've really just took a turn for myself saying, you know what guys, like this is my livelihood. This is my job. And if I don't work 24 seven to make it something, then it's not going to be anything. So it's like, you can either like, so that's just, that was my awakening, my 2020 awakening. It was like, book it. And that's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, Zach, you are nothing but an inspiration to me. And I cannot wait to have you back on the show uh, for a full show just on you and your story and everything else. Uh, but thank you for sharing that message with us. Alex, yeah. anything that the pandemic did for you personally or your business, anything you want to share on a closing statement? Yeah, I feel like the pandemic has really taught me the power of taking time to create because I think before uh -huh. um, the pandemic, I was, we were always on the road. We're going to shows, trunk shows, um, trade shows, and just always busy on the go. I didn't realize that I wasn't taking time to create and think of new ideas and have fun within what I was doing. I was just going, going, going. So this year, I actually took time to create stuff and do things that were different, things that I've never done before. And it's been amazing. So from this year forward, I've realized that I need that time. I don't need to be going, going. I need to take time to have fun within it and create. And um, so that's what the pandemic has taught me. First of all, Zach was having a meltdown and I had like <laughs> chills all over my body because we all can relate yeah. with that. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, my beautiful friend, what did you learn? <laughs> How, what have you learned about this pandemic? Well, I showed 2020 who's boss um, and everything was a blessing in disguise because um, I was a makeup artist. I was booked like back to back this whole year and all of a sudden my schedule was completely cleared. So I got to make a new palette, which is, you know, that's coming into fruition right now. And I was just selling lashes, but now I have a whole cosmetic line, which is amazing. And also working with Miss Earth for the virtual pageant, like having my first international winner would have never happened if it weren't virtual. So that happened, um, winning the award, um, a lot of things. So I'm just really grateful. And I think that I owned it. And Carlos, I want to hear about you and your mask. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is that uh, Araceli, who just, uh, she just popped up and, and I can never say enough about her. Uh, she her introduced so me, she introduced me to the whole mask game. And then from the mask game, the poncho game, I, I, I came up with uh, myself because you're always looking for the next step mm -hmm. because Lisa, you had one palette, then you had the second one, Zach, you had this, th this lip gloss, then you have the package, Alex, you have this, and then you have to have the next bag mm -hmm. and we have to keep going and moving. Mm -hmm. And, um, but one thing that we haven't mentioned, and I think it's very important, uh, is that during the pandemic, you learn who your true friends are. Mm -hmm. You learn who supports you. Mm. You learn who doesn't. And you learn uh, 
how to create new things. I, this whole show would not have happened if I didn't have uh, the pandemic because otherwise it would have been, you guys know Flavio with a real camera and the makeup and hair and all of that stuff. I had to come up with this. Zach was telling me, girl, I don't know how you do this with all of this technology because I couldn't do it. Well, <laughs> I had to freaking figure it out and I am so happy and I am so honored to have Lisa and uh, and Zach and Alex on my show tonight. And uh, I cannot be any more grateful for you guys to be part of my vision and helping each other. Thank, Thank you, Carlos. It means us. Thank you. <laughs> well, with that, I have to say goodbye because we went we went long. So <laughs> oh, no, this was, this was so amazing. This was, was awesome. Congratulations, Carlos, on doing this because this is like so official having mm -hmm. this, how you do this. I feel like I'm on like a podcast or something. <laughs> I feel like I'm on like the Today Show, like <laughs> major stuff. And guess yeah. what? In the Today Show, one camera freezes and we didn't have one freeze. Nope. Right. Not <laughs> one. Oh, you saw that today, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for everything. It was so nice to meet everyone. E meet everyone on yes. in virtual. <laughs> please, everybody that's watching, please follow every one of us. Uh, make sure that you do your holiday shopping through us. Until then, you are watching Trendesias. Goodbye. Bye.